Okay, so we are going to start with a full loop. It's also, well, let's start with while. Now, we've got to be careful anytime you use while statements, or statements, or any loop statements. If you don't program it properly, the system will have. So we don't want that happening. So while statement, start with A to B2. While a is less than five, I'm going to say do. That's just how the concept is in Maxima. Doing this from memory, hopefully this works. If not, there is always help and documentation. So here is a question: Could I use single quotes? Yes. Actually, no. To Tuesday, how about that? Um, so, what just happened? It is an infinite loop, right? So, in other words, my computer is making sounds, it is running. But what caused this infinite loop? So A is always less than five because A is two. So it pretty much is an infinite loop. So had the computer will crash sooner or later or catch on fire. So this particular loop is going to keep on going if the while statement checks for that condition and performs whatever that is inside the loop, that is the body of the loop, and that is the condition. Um, so we've got to do something so that it breaks or it stops. Um, that's where a thing called an iterator comes into play. Um, that is just a variable, an iterator is sort of as a counter. Um, iterator is a very technical term that's used in programming, but here you can think of it as a counter. So a colon, oops, a colon a plus one. What would happen when I say a colon a plus one? It, it keeps adding one. So eventually a is going to exceed five. And when it does, it will stop. Hopefully, this time, we will see. Good. So this time, it worked Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So the last time, it didn't even print. But in reality, it was printing. You just couldn't see because it was an infinite loop. Does that make sense? Yes. So yeah, I'm thinking about right. So like in the infinite loop, right? Maxima is making its output, but then it doesn't make sense. Ws, then Ws, like y part of it. Yes. So this is the GUI part of things. So it is running in the back end, which is why it's taking all the memory, and it's not coming to the front. Huh? Come again. No, this is done. In the previous case, when we did not specify this particular statement, it kept on running in the back end. Um, yeah, and it crashed. So a while loop is based on a condition. In a similar manner, there is a do while loop. Perhaps the site should not be because I'm not sure if Maxima has it. Um, I don't have it as well, 
moment, you don't need it. One is good enough. A do one loop is pretty much a one loop combined with an if statement. So here's one condition and I have that. But there are instances where you may want to run a fixed number of iterations and then stop. So that's where a full loop comes into play. So for you could pick any variable, you can call it K, you could call it W, you can call it I. So for K from one through ten. Do Print Tuesday. So this is a case where you knew exactly the number of iterations that you wanted to do. And you actually did not need a counter. You did not need a statement here. You are clearly defining if you only go through 10 times, starting at one all the way up to 10. You may say, well, what would a for loop be useful? Well, for loops are generally used to build lists, access elements of a list, um, all those things. So we know how to create a list. We know how to create a matrix. Suppose we want to access elements of a matrix, you would use a for loop. Suppose we want to access elements of a vector, we would use a full loop. And it's not just maximum, it's pretty much any programming language. It's, it's a given. Are we clear? So the goal is to create an empty list, and we're going to add only even number values to the list. The length of the list has to be 200. So couple of ways to do this. You can either use append. Some of you use append. You use push. Push might will, will work. Append will work. So it's a matter of choice. So for k from 1, 300, do That's my empty list. One, two, two hundred. Do going to append two times k. So anytime I do two times k, it's going to take each value of k and multiply it by two. In the sense, it is going to produce an even number. So two times k, comma list. Good. Okay, I didn't do my... Uh, I'm doing push. Okay. Doesn't have to be. Perhaps it's a reserved word. Okay, and there you go, two, four, six, eight, ten, all the way up to 400. Um, some of you use push, so push is perfectly fine. You can either do a pen or you can do push. Um, the built-in way of doing it is to use make list 
but that wasn't the purpose of this task. It's about thinking logically, so we have to formulate. 